G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I've decided to replace the um, pulley cog on the back of the disc spindle because of the fact that it's, it's extremely wonky. Um, I've got it down here. Um, as seen, um, the hole is pretty much off-centered. Um, like the hole was initially off-centered anyway, anyways with these El Cheapo pulley cogs that you get in pulley sets. So yep, let's go figure. <laughs> so yeah, I, this is this, the holes off center, and uh, I end up. I think I drilled in a, at a bit of a slant, so hence the wonkiness on the spindle. Anyhow, that's uh, now taken off, and I've replaced it with a plastic cog, which um, which has a thinner, but you know, um, it's still effective pulley system. Um, I've actually got a little Stanley knife and while the pulley is in rotation sort of um, cut the groove a little bit more deeper so the belt can sit in better. I've already tested it out with the disc and it works it works okay but the belt of course does jump off which is annoying <laughs> and it's still um, a little bit wonky but that's what you get when you sort of try and drill these cogs and try and get them aligned and that sort of thing. It's not an easy task to get them um, nice and flush and straight and everything like that. Anyhow, um, I've now glued, uh, put it on and um, it's sitting on there. It's holding its own quite nicely, but um, I've, I've added a bit of glue for extra extra securing. Um, I've now re I've also re-glued the... the um, spindle tube that's sitting through um that the spindle's sitting through and the disc underneath is of course glued back on once again because it just flew off <laughs> when i was testing out earlier on um so yep um now i'll wait for that to dry once again which i'll leave it as an overnight process i've um yeah done a bit more testing with this it, yeah it's um a bit difficult to get the motor speed nice and constant so yeah and um I am so I am getting a picture, but it's kind of not looking too recognisable because I can't seem to get it on correct speed. But yep, uh, once this is all dried and I get re-rigged up, I'll test it once again and make make some videos of it in operation. Either way, it is it is working, so that's a good thing. And the LED um, circuit um, banks are all correctly positioned in order to produce the picture on the scanned areas so I'm happy with that anyhow in the meantime um yeah I'm just gonna let it dry and press on with other things anyhow um nothing much more to say this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out